why no one lives in these 15 empty states. The United States is a vast country, ranking third both in terms of land area and population. However, according to statistics, the population of New York City alone exceeds that of nine entire states combined. Surprisingly, nearly half of this country's landmass is uninhabited. Can you believe it? Despite their breathtaking landscapes, including majestic mountains, cool blue beaches, and enticing national parks, these states still have very low populations. Let's explore the 15 states with the lowest populations in the United States and find out why. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a like and comment below if you've ever visited any of these states. Number 15, New Mexico. New Mexico has a population density of 17.2 people per square mile. Only 51.4% of the people living here were born in the state. The rest are immigrants from other states, territories, or countries. The state's economy revolves around the oil industry, as well as tourism and federal spending. The low population density is due to several factors, partly because of limited job opportunities, as industries are also very limited, and partly because the federal government owns a large amount of land. New Mexico has three Air Force bases, a missile testing range, and an army fort. With most of the land belonging to the federal government, there are fewer places for people to live. Additionally, the crime rate and gang activity here are quite high, discouraging families from settling here. What do you think about the sparse population in this state? Let us know in the comments below. Number 14, Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a small coastal area in the United States which contributes to its low population. In fact, it's the smallest state, covering only 1.34 square miles with less than 1.1 million people. The state's population density is 1.61 people per square mile and almost the entire state is urbanized. However, Rhode Island boasts beautiful, sprawling beaches, vibrant nightlife, and upscale shops along with a plethora of entertainment activities that attract visitors who hope to return to Rhode Island for another visit. Number 13, Wyoming. Wyoming is the least populous state in the United States, known for its spectacular landscapes such as vast plains, rugged mountains, and the famous Yellowstone National Park. With an area of over 97,000 square miles and a population of only about 580,000 people, Wyoming has the lowest population density. Even if you're American, you've probably heard that hardly anyone lives in Wyoming. The state's economy relies heavily on natural resources, including mining such as coal, natural gas and oil, playing a crucial role. Agriculture still underpins Wyoming's economy, with livestock farming and hay production being dominant. In recent years, tourism has become increasingly important, attracting visitors to Wyoming's national parks, wildlife, and outdoor activities, significantly contributing to the local economy. Wyoming's climate is quite harsh, especially in mountainous regions while summers are milder, ideal for outdoor activities. However, the state's remote location and limited urban development may be a hindrance for those accustomed to city life or seeking more job opportunities. Many people joke that they forget this state even exists, Restaurants and bars are not plentiful here, so tourists looking for more entertainment options are unlikely to come here. What do you think about Wyoming's sparse population? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Number 12, West Virginia. West Virginia is renowned for its stunning mountains and vast forests. With about 80% of the land being forested, West Virginia has the most third growth forests in the United States. However, with a population of 1.78 million and an area of 24,038 square miles in 2022, West Virginia also ranks among the least populous states in America. Many people have left this state in recent years for various reasons such as limited job opportunities or low wages or a political atmosphere that some find stifling, as well as poor mobile phone and internet services. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, the state's population has undergone demographic changes with death rates exceeding birth rates in the past two decades. In an effort to reverse the population decline, West Virginia has begun encouraging remote workers to move to the state through a program that offers them 12,000 USD in cash, along with free tickets for whitewater rafting, golfing, hiking, and other outdoor activities. What do you think about West Virginia's sparse population, or have you ever visited this state? Leave a comment below. Number 11, Vermont. Vermont, famous for its picturesque scenery and vibrant autumn foliage, is a state that will enchant you with its natural beauty and rural life. With a land area of just over 9,600 square miles, 
it is the sixth smallest state in the United States. Vermont's population of about 643,000 makes it one of the least populous states. With such beautiful scenery, what could be the reason for Vermont's low population? The answer is that you may simply not be able to afford it because everything here is expensive. The state's economy traditionally relies on agriculture, forestry and small-scale manufacturing. Dairy farming plays a significant role in Vermont's agricultural sector. Vermont is a rural paradise in every sense of the word, with only 38.9% of its residents living in urban centers, plus Vermont's mountainous terrain is not ideal for building large cities, which is the main reason for its sparse population. Vermont's climate, characterized by harsh winters and mild summers, makes winter sports such as skiing and snowboarding very popular. In particular, the state has some of the best ski resorts in the Northeast. Vermont is a year-round destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Despite its natural attractions and high quality of life, Vermont faces challenges in attracting and retaining young populations. The state's rural nature and limited job opportunities in high-tech industries pose barriers to young people seeking career advancement. Additionally, the cost of living, especially housing, can be high. Number 10. Alaska Alaska is the largest state in the United States in terms of area, with incredibly breathtaking natural beauty. Despite its vast area of over 663,000 square miles, Alaska has a population of only over 730,000 people, making it one of the least densely populated areas in the United States. Alaska is so large that if you were to cut it in half, one of the halves would still be the largest state in the United States. This low population density is largely due to the challenging geography and climate of the state, Alaska's economy depends heavily on natural resources with oil, natural gas, fishing and tourism being the mainstays. The discovery of oil at Prudhoe Bay and the subsequent development of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline System brought significant economic growth and an influx of workers to the state in the 1970s. However, dependence on oil also makes the state's economy vulnerable to fluctuations in world oil prices. Alaska's climate is as diverse as its geography. What many residents cannot bear is the extremely cold winters, especially in the inland and northern regions, with temperatures often dropping below zero. Harsh weather conditions, combined with the state's vast size and remote location, make transportation and communication challenging, contributing to the high cost of living in many Alaska communities. Alaska's population density is 1.4 people per square mile, and if you're in Anchorage, the population density becomes 0.5 people per square mile. Additionally, it's no surprise that Alaska has the highest violent crime rate, especially the number of serial killers per capita. What do you think about Alaska's sparse population and have you ever visited this state? Leave a comment below. Number 9. Hawaii Hawaii is one of only two states, along with Alaska, that are not part of the contiguous United States, initially a U.S. Territory Hawaii became a full-fledged state in 1959, along with Alaska. With its beautiful beaches, tourism plays a significant role in Hawaii's economy. However, the population here is low compared to other states in the U.S., with only 1.44 million people in an area of 10,931 square miles. The most common reason is that housing prices here are becoming increasingly expensive and living on this island comes with the highest energy costs in the country. The cost of living in Hawaii is also quite high, making it unaffordable for many young people. Additionally, Hawaii's geography includes active volcanoes and rugged terrain, which limits the available land for development. Furthermore, the island's economy relies heavily on agriculture and tourism, so it does not offer as many job opportunities as more urbanized areas. With limited development and job opportunities, many people seek to live on other islands. Number 8. North Dakota North Dakota is also among the least populous states in the U.S. With an area of over 70,000 square miles, it is home to just over 760,000 people. Worse than South Dakota, it has the coldest winters along with hot, humid summers and devastating floods in the spring, making the weather extremely harsh. These conditions pose significant challenges for both living and working in the state, especially in rural and remote areas. Harsh winters can isolate communities and make travel and daily life difficult for many months of the year. Therefore, people often choose to live in South Dakota rather than in the North. Additionally, the state's economy is deeply rooted in agriculture, with vast expanses of land devoted to growing wheat, corn and soybeans, as well as livestock farming. 
However, the past few decades have seen a significant transformation with the boom in the oil industry, especially in the Bakken Formation. This has led to economic activity and temporary population growth in some areas. Nevertheless, overall population density remains low, with many areas still predominantly agricultural. The state's population is concentrated in urban centers such as Fargo, Bismarck and Grand Forks. However, much of North Dakota remains sparsely populated. You can drive through endless fields without seeing any houses. Number 7. Idaho Idaho is a state with many attractive and beautiful landscapes due to its vast wilderness and mountainous scenery. Idaho also has a lot of agricultural land as it produces about one-third of the total potatoes in the U.S. Furthermore, the state produces a significant amount of wheat, often the second largest crop in the state. Idaho covers an area of 83,642 square miles with a population of 1.94 million people, making it a state with relatively low population density. Population density in Idaho is 20 people per square mile. Being a state with a large Native American population before colonial times, Idaho became attractive to European settlers in the early 1800s when it became part of the Western Territory and the state remained during the Gold Rush. Today, the economy relies on timber and agriculture, especially potato farming. Idahoans value their space and prefer to keep to themselves, so they dislike proximity and often stay away from what is bothersome. Therefore, many people who come here are not young because they prefer peace and quiet. Furthermore, the lack of major urban areas and economic opportunities compared to other states has contributed to a slower population growth rate. Number 6. Kansas Also known as the Sunflower State, Kansas is the 15th largest state in the U.S. Kansas has a large number of farms, and the state also has a low population density. Over 39% of the state's population lives in Johnson County and Sedgwick County, leaving the rest of the state relatively sparsely populated. However, in terms of population, Kansas has a population of only about 2.94 million residents in 2022. Nevertheless, Kansas has a lot of agricultural land and a beautiful geographical location. Most of the land here is covered by crops such as wheat, corn, and soybeans. The economy depends on agriculture, which makes many young people not want to come here to live. Additionally, the National Park Service has designated 10 parks and memorials that are protected, prohibiting settlement. Therefore, the population of this state is even sparser. Furthermore, this state is also considered the most boring because many people believe that Kansas has nothing to offer other than wheat harvesting. What makes Kansas an inconvenient place to live is that they tax groceries. Number 5. Montana Montana is located in the eastern part and has some of the most beautiful landscapes in the United States with vast plains, towering mountains and pristine wilderness areas. Despite its natural beauty, Montana remains one of the least populous states in the country, with a population of just over 1 million people spread across an area of 147,000 square miles. This makes Montana larger than Japan, but with one of the lowest population densities in the country, about 7.1 people per square mile. The low population density of the state is mainly due to its geographical and climatic conditions. Montana's terrain is highly diverse, from the Rocky Mountains to the Great Plains, creating harsh winters. The state often experiences heavy snowfall and plummeting temperatures, making it difficult for those unaccustomed to such harsh conditions to live. Montana's economy traditionally relies on agriculture, mining, and timber, which also do not attract many young people to live there. As a result, the state lacks vibrant urban areas like those in more densely populated states, Billings, the largest city in Montana, has a population of just over 100,000 people and many other towns are small and far apart. Furthermore, the state's remote location contributes to its low population density. Montana is far from major economic centers and some areas of the state are several hours away from the nearest airport or highway. This isolation can be a barrier for businesses and individuals looking for easy access to markets and transportation networks. In fact, some towns are so remote that the nearest Walmart is a two to three hour drive away. Have you ever visited Montana or know anything more about this state? Feel free to comment below and share your thoughts. Number four, Maine. Maine is located in the far northeast of the continental United States, renowned for its picturesque landscapes, including dense forests, tranquil lakes, and pristine coastlines. 
Despite its natural beauty and proximity to New York and Boston, Maine is still one of the least populous states with a population density contrasting sharply with more urbanized areas of the country. The state's population is approximately 1.35 million people, with a significant portion residing in the southern part and along the coast, where the climate is milder and the land more conducive to farming and settlement. Climate factors in Maine are a significant contributor to its low population density. The state experiences long and harsh winters, which deter many people from living there. This weather poses challenges for large-scale agriculture and limits outdoor activities throughout the year. The growing season in the state is short and difficult to access in some remote areas. Maine's economy has traditionally relied on natural resources, including forestry, fishing and agriculture. However, global trends towards industrialization and the decline of these industries have made it difficult for Maine to attract and retain younger labor force. The state has one of the highest average ages in the country, reflecting an aging population and a wave of migration of young residents seeking opportunities elsewhere. Urban centers in Maine, notably Portland, offer economic diversity with growing service sectors including tourism, healthcare, and education. The vibrant cultural scene and quality of life in Portland have made it an attractive destination for young professionals. However, job opportunities in these urban areas are not enough to reverse the state's overall population trend. Maine also has the highest proportion of rural areas, with only 38.7% of the population living in urban centers, so young people often leave in their 20s and only consider returning to returning. Number 3. New Hampshire New Hampshire is also one of the least populous states in the U.S., with a population of 1.4 million in 2022. One reason for the low population is that New Hampshire does not have as much land area as many other states. Although not ranked highly in terms of population or land area, New Hampshire is politically significant. Additionally, there is an increasing trend of migration to New Hampshire. Number 2. South Dakota Have you heard of the famous Mount Rushmore in the U.S.? How do you think about this place? Comment below and let me know. South Dakota, with its vast prairies and majestic landmarks like Mount Rushmore, is a state in the Midwest region of the U.S. The state covers over 77,000 square miles but has a population of under 900,000 people, making it one of the states with the lowest population densities in the country. However, the large land area of this state speaks volumes about South Dakota. Being vast, distant and mostly empty, not to mention the state's extremely cold winters and scorching summers, are the exact reasons why so few people live here. The state experiences various temperature extremes throughout the year, with harsh weather conditions including winter storms and tornadoes in the summer. These harsh weather patterns can pose challenges for both residents and workers in South Dakota. The state's economy is traditionally based on agriculture, with farming and ranching activities predominant. Additionally, there are vast grasslands ideal for livestock grazing. In recent years, there has been diversification into areas such as finance, healthcare, and tourism, but agriculture remains strong and modern industries cannot replace it. The population of the state is concentrated in some urban centers with Sioux Falls being the most populous. However, much of South Dakota remains sparsely populated with small towns and communities scattered across vast rural areas. If you drive through the fields in South Dakota, you'll feel much lonelier than in Nebraska or Kansas because there are very few houses here. What do you think about the sparse population situation in this state? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Number 1. Delaware Delaware has nearly double the land area of Rhode Island but is only 1,948 square miles, making it the second smallest state in the U.S. Delaware, known as the first state because it was the first state to ratify the U.S. Constitution. Today, Delaware has a population of approximately 990,000 people, but the population density is unevenly distributed, with a significant concentration in the northern part of the state, especially around Wilmington, the largest city. The economy of Delaware has some unique characteristics that set it apart from other states. It has become a hub for corporations due to its business-friendly laws and tax policies. Over half of publicly traded companies in the U.S and over 60% of Fortune 500 companies are incorporated in Delaware, contributing to its reputation as a corporate haven. However, this hasn't led to an increase in job opportunities within the state, as many of these companies do not operate physical facilities in Delaware. The most famous Delawarean is President Joseph R. Biden, who represented the state in the US Senate for over 30 years. 
Despite the advantages of its location and business-friendly environment, Delaware faces challenges in attracting and retaining residents. The state lacks large urban areas that provide diversity in cultural and entertainment activities. Even the largest city, Wilmington, with a population of about 70,000, is the largest city but does not provide the same level of amenities as nearby Philadelphia. So there you have it, we've explored the 15 least populated states in the US. What do you think about the states I've shared above or have you visited any of them and seen how they are? Is it true that few people live there? Remember to comment and share your thoughts with me. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you in the next videos.